Hello and Happy New Year. This is my January 2022 vlog. And for this vlog, I wanted to talk about health and wellness coaching. Um, what it is, what it isn't. Um, kind of all that nitty gritty stuff. So to start today, we're just going to take our hands to our thighs come straight spine feet flat on the floor take an inhale through your nose and a slow exhale at the mouth great one more time inhale through your nose and as slow as you can exhale out the mouth So to start, I wanted to talk about um, 2022 and um, something that I've been thinking about lately is don't wait. Don't wait for Monday. Don't wait for January 1st. If you want to make a change, do it. You don't have to wait till the first of the year. You don't have to wait till Monday. Although, I will say that making a change on the first of the year does make it easier to, to track. And it does make it easier to, um, yeah, just like keep track of, like, when did I make this change? Oh, I started making this change in um, January of two thousand floor or whatever it was you know you can kind of think about it like that so um yeah it makes it easier um but you don't have to wait till monday you don't have to wait till january 1st and another thing that i will say is that um there is an inspiring essence i guess about a new year right? It's a clean slate. It's a breath of fresh air. It has new beginnings written all over it. And, and I feel like, like people get inspired by a new year. Like they just, they just do, right? Like it's, it's inspiring to, to start Jan 1 or January 3rd. Uh, but it's inspiring to start something in the beginning of a new year. Um, and so if you're feeling ex inspired right now, run with that, take it, make something of it. It's exciting. It's happening. Right. Um, so yeah, I wanted to talk about health and wellness coaching this month. Um, it is something that I'm very passionate about. Um, I really enjoy doing it. Um, and I just wanted to talk about kind of what health and wellness coaching is, um, what health and wellness coaching is not, because I think there's some confusion about what it is. Um, so I'll talk about that now. And the first thing about health and wellness coaching is that it is not athletic coaching. It is not personal training. It is not advice giving. It is not dietitian or nutritional therapist work um yeah I think we hear coaching and we automatically think like oh that's like that's like coaching a soccer team no different kind of coaching like that's that's that type of coaching is is coaching telling you what to do coach on the sidelines tells you in the game what to do health and wellness coaching what I do I'm in the game with you I'm doing laps with you on the court like we're in it together I'm helping you climb that mountain I'm not telling you how to climb that mountain to reach your goal right that's not what health and wellness coaching is health and wellness coaching is is a collaborative team dynamic I guess so it's um 
yeah I I work with clients I don't tell them what to do I don't tell them how to do it and and with that also is It doesn't work when we give advice when we tell somebody what to do it it usually doesn't work what happens the person being told what to do they don't like it right they're like why are you telling me what to do and the person giving advice they just look like a jackass so <coughs> so yeah not I'm not telling you what to do I'm not telling you how to do it and typically clients already know what to do like clients who are looking to lose weight clients who are um i don't know cultivate better habits a lot of the time they've already done that they've already done the weight loss cycle gain lose gain lose gain lose and they oftentimes they're stuck in that cycle so they don't need me to tell them what to do when they know what to do already right they've done it they've tried it they know what works for them they know what doesn't work for them so questions that i might ask a client are what are your dreams what's your vision for your life where do you want to be in three years where do you want to be in two years what do you want your life to look like more importantly more importantly is what do you want your life to feel like because then when you start working in a place of where your life of what you want your life to feel like you can embody that better and you can make it happen easier based on what it feels like versus maybe what it looks like I might ask questions like, what are your motivators? Um, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are your obstacles? If I'm working with a client and they have done this whatever goal before and they've just flopped. They've flopped, flopped, flopped. I might ask, what obstacles got in the way? Was it time management? Was it accountability? Was it... Um, you know, your like your support system around you. Questions like that. Um, yeah, those are just some questions that I might ask. I ask clients, mm, 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 get, give or take a little. Um, those aren't the same questions I will ask every client by no means. Um, so yeah, health and wellness coaching is is psychology. It at its at its core, at its root. And I think that's why I really love it because it works um, and it's easy to achieve those goals. And I think sometimes we think that those big goals are hard and that they cannot be achieved. And the truth of the matter is that they can. Um, it's just, I know, finding the right coach. It's finding the right support system. It's finding the right people to help you get there. Um, there's something else I wanted to say. I'm not sure. I think that might be it. I think that might be everything. Um, but yeah, that's what health and wellness coaching is. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to say it's also not therapy. And I think that in athletic coaching realms and in personal training realms similar to health and wellness coaching I think oftentimes those people are like this isn't therapy leave your feelings and emotions out there and it's like but we're humans emotions come up they happen so while yes I am not a I'm not a therapist and what I do is not therapy um things are gonna come up in conversation um you know, things are going to happen. Things are going to, and you're going to want to talk about it. And it's all part of your health and well-being, your wellness, right? It's part of your wellness. And so, um, yeah, it's not therapy, um, but I can absolutely be um, a pair of ears 
um, if a, if a client is going through something that's, you know, not entirely health and wellness related, um, they can still talk to me about it. I don't want to leave anything off the table that they don't want to talk about. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's it in a nutshell, health and wellness coaching. Um, yeah. Happy New Year. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy you're here. If there's anything you want me to talk about specifically, let me know if it's anything specific on um, movement or uh, food or habits or anything like that. Let me know. I would love to talk about it. Um, have a great month of January. Um, it's going to be awesome. Thanks. Be well.